Hey everyone, today's adventure brings us to Manchester, New Hampshire. We are on the property of the Manchester Waterworks. All of Manchester gets their drinking water from Lake Massabesic. And it all gets stored right here. <laughs> I don't think so, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how Manchester gets its water from Lake Massabesic to their faucet. And then uh, our favorite people are here too, Dave T and Rambari. We're going to take you out in the woods for- Things you find in the woods. Welcome to Lake Massabesic. It has been the source of Manchester's drinking water for the last 150 years. And because of that, there's no swimming allowed. None of your body is allowed to touch the water. <laughs> the Manchester Waterworks had a busy two years between 1872 and 1874. Yeah, they had to buy all the land that they needed for this project. They had to build a dam, a basin, a canal, a pump house, reservoir, plus miles of piping. Now this is where the water leaves the lake heading down to the basin and according to Google it looks like there might have been some kind of a control gate here but it, it's underwater right now. <laughs> Massabesic is an Indian name meaning place of much water. Yeah and considering it covers 2,500 acres and is capable of holding 15 billion gallons I'd say yep they nailed it. Yes they did. <laughs> now as we continue on our lake to faucet journey we are at the main dam that forms the basin itself. And as you can see, any excess water that gets in here just goes right over and down the spillway. But look across to the other side. Doesn't it look like there could be a bridge here going over to Island Pond Road? It does. Well, there was until 1980 when vandals burnt it down and the Manchester Waterworks decided not to rebuild it. Now that's not the only bridge that's missing. As we zoom out across the basin to the other side of Island Pond Road, you can see the bridge is missing there also. It was still there in 1992, but it was gone by 2003. At least what we could confirm. Yes, that's right. If anybody knows what happened to it, please leave a comment down below. Yeah, we'd appreciate it. All right, so we are now walking along Canal Ave. Anybody guess where they got the road name from? <laughs> How about this 1,470-foot canal? Now this canal channels the water from the basin over to the pumping station. And apparently, hun, it looks like there's good fishing. It does. On July 4th, 1874, the Kohas pumping station began pumping water from the lake. In the last 150 years, a lot's changed, and a lot more communities are using Lake Massabesic now as their drinking water. And as for the Lake to Fawcett journey, well, from here it traveled through pipes to a reservoir and finally getting to the Manchester Fawcetts. All right, let's get in the woods. I don't like these weeds, especially when they get like this because they seem to be demanding. Yeah, they kill things. <laughs> yeah, Barry, you better be careful in there. According to my research, the Websters used to live here. Did they? They had a pool? <laughs> it looks like it. It looks like it's rusted. <laughs> Oh, one of the residents is home. Hey, Dave. <laughs> hey, get off my property. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit hard to see, but this is the Webster barn. And there is an artifact here. It looks like an old metal seat from, let's say, a tractor. Yeah, looks like it. She doesn't do it often, but this is Tina doing hurdles. I don't think you're doing it right. The only way I can do it. <laughs> Yay! So the trail's kind of wide. That we're walking on because well they're actually fire roads but this fire road actually has pavement on it well it did have pavement on it at one time let's dig it up and take it home there we go yeah we'll bring it home and put it out yet it's a mighty big blow down cover in the trail but you can get through it we didn't have an issue moving on jump no jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> there you go yay oh, I hope you got that. We are now at Mrs. N. Whittemore's Foundations. There is more than one in the area. I don't know if this was the barn or the house. I'm thinking barn because the exit is very wide. So let's go check out that house. Also Mrs. Whittemore's property, Dave found a shovel I had a pool. <laughs> I had a yeah, pool. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you got? Pottery down there? Yep. Pretty cool stuff. Big house. Big, big house. And there's a smaller foundation here. I'm not sure if it was an attachment <laughs> to the house. Maybe it was a wine cellar. Yeah. <laughs> a, root cellar. a root cellar is more than likely. 
What'd you find? An old ice skate. How cool is that? I don't think it works anymore. No. <laughs> and is that a hinge? It goes to a flue for your oh, wood stove. Look at that fancy key. <laughs> cool. Right outside this foundation here. Mm. Not sure who this one belongs to. And this cellar hole was owned by the Thorpe family. We have come up to the town boundary between Manchester and Auburn. Let's keep going. And here is another cellar hole. And here's some artifacts. And some more over here, some bricks. A dog bone and whatever this is. Axe head. David Fulbrick. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Wow. It's a playground. Let's go check it out. So it's a pretty cool little area. A lot of nooks and crannies to look in. And even a little bit of sculpturing, it looks like. I will not be the least bit surprised if we find a cave. Make sure not to fall on my head. <laughs> Good idea. We have arrived at Rattlesnake Hill Cave and we are hoping it doesn't live up to its name. Yeah, the only incident that we even know about was recalled in a book from 1946 where a couple of guys ran into a rather large rattlesnake while they were here. We have seen none so far. Thank goodness. <laughs> this cave is a simple pass-through, but it could provide shelter if needed. Yeah, and the way that the sky is threatening with rain today, we might be able to tell you whether it's leak-proof or not too. <laughs> And as you can see, there is a view available. You need to go to the top of Rattlesnake Hill, right above the cave, and this is what you'll be seeing. Very nice. They're, they're pulling, they're pulling. Oh, Tina wins. Uh -oh. Yay! <laughs> the crippled pinky wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Unfortunately, the clouds are starting to roll in, which means it's going to rain and we have a little ways to go. So we're gonna do the ending right now just in case we get back to the cars and it's pouring. So uh, we really hope you like what you saw and if you did, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. If you wanna follow along with everything we do here on the We Have Mud Fun channel, Dave, where would that be? Click that subscribe button right down there and ring the bell to be notified of future videos. And if you have any questions or comments, where would they be, Barry? They'd be right down below us. Or you could just say hi, why team? So we'll say hi back. We, we always, always do. do. Until our next adventure. The, the end. end, bye. I'm not covering anyone anyway. <laughs> I started chuckling and I had to stop because of Chuck. So. <laughs> 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 you said that. I did everything I could to not be the one to ruin that. <laughs> <laughs>